show the world the good through me, keeping faithful to your teachings, never let me be parted from you. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. We hope your weekend is off to a good start. And now it's going to be off to a great start. You're here with us for the daily office morning prayer. A reading from John. God is spirit, and those who worship must worship in spirit and in truth. Sisters and brothers, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us continue with the Jubilate. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Our appointed psalm this morning, our first one, is Psalm 137. By the waters of Babylon we sat down and wept when we remembered you, O Zion. As for our harps, we hung them up on the trees in the midst of that land. For those who led us away captive asked us for a song, and our oppressors called for mirth. Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song upon an alien soil? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its skill. Let the, my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth if I do not remember you, if I do not set Jerusalem above my highest joy. Remember the day of Jerusalem, O Lord, against the people of Edom, who said, Down with it, down with it, even to the ground. O daughter of Babylon, doomed to destruction, happy the one who pays you back for what you have done to us. Happy shall be he who takes your little ones and dashes them against the rock. Psalm 144. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands to fight and my fingers to battle, my help and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues the peoples under me. O oh Lord, what are we that you should care for us, mere mortals that you should think of us? We are like a puff of wind, our days are like a passing shadow. Bow your heavens, O oh Lord, and come down, touch the mountains and they shall smoke. Hurl the lightning and scatter them. Shoot out your arrows and rout them. Stretch out your hand from on high. Rescue me and deliver me from the great waters, from the hand of foreign peoples, whose mouths speak deceitfully, and whose right hand is raised in falsehood. O oh God, I will sing to you a new song. I will play to you on a tin-stringed lyre. You give victory to kings and have rescued David your servant. Rescue me from the hurtful sword and deliver me from the hand of foreign peoples whose mouths speak deceitfully and whose right hand is raised in falsehood. May our sons be like plants well nurtured from their youth and our daughters like sculptured corners of a palace. May our barns be filled to overflowing with all manner of crops. May the flocks in our pastures increase by thousands and tens of thousands. May our cattle be fat and sleek. May, they, may there be no more breaching of the walls, no going into exile, no wailing in the public squares. Happy are the people of whom this is so. Happy are the people whose God is the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. 
And Balaam said to Balak, Did I not tell your messengers who you sent to me? If Balak should give me his house full of silver and gold, I would not be able to go beyond the word of the Lord to do either good or bad of my own will. What the Lord says, that is what I will say. So now I am going to my people. Let me advise you what this people will do to your people in the days to come. So he uttered his oracle, saying, The oracle of Balaam, son of Beor, the oracle of the man whose eye is clear, the oracle of one who hears the words of God and knows the knowledge of the Most High, who sees the vision of the Almighty, who falls down but with his eyes uncovered. I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star shall come out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. It shall crush the borderlands of Moab and the territory of all the Shethites. Edom will become a possession, Seir a possession of its enemies, while Israel does valiantly. One out of Jacob shall rule and, the, and destroy the survivors of Ir. Then he looked at Amalek and uttered his oracle, saying, First among the nations was Amalek, but its end is to perish forever. Then he looked on to the Kenite and uttered his oracle, saying, Enduring is your dwelling place, and your nest is set in the rock, yet Cain is destined for burning. How long shall Asher take you away captive? Again he uttered his oracle, saying, Alas, who shall live with God does this? But ships shall come from Kittim, and shall afflict Asher and Eber, and he shall perish forever. Then Balaam got up and went back to his place, and Balak also went his way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So it's Saturday. It's a song of creation, song of the three young men. Benedicite omnia opera domini. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. For the cosmic order. Glorify the Lord, you angels and all powers of the Lord. O heavens and all waters above the heavens. Sun and moon and stars of the sky, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat. Winter and summer glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow, frost and cold, ice and sleet, glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark, storm clouds and thunderbolts, glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. For the earth and its creatures. Let the earth glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O mountains and hills and all that grows upon the earth. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O springs of water, seas and streams, O whales and all that move in the waters. All birds of the air glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O beasts of the wild and all you flocks and herds. O men and women everywhere glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. For the people of God. Let the people of God glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O priests and servants of the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O spirits and souls of the righteous, praise him and highly exalt him forever. You that are holy and humble of heart, glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. A reading from Matthew. The same day some Sadducees came to him saying, There is no resurrection. And they asked him a question saying, Teacher, Moses said, If a man dies childless, his brother shall marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers among us. The first married and died childless, leaving the widow to his brother. The second did the same, so also the third, down to the seventh. Last of all, the woman herself died. In the resurrection then, whose wife of the seven will she be? For all of them had married her, and Jesus answered them, You are wrong, because you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. 
And as for the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what was said to you by God? I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is God, not of the dead, but of the living. And when the crowd heard it, they were astounded at his teaching. When the Pharisees had heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? And he said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Magnet Mirabilia. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sisters and brothers, let us now profess our faith in the form of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Almighty God, you have built your church upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Grant us so to be joined together in unity of spirit by their teaching, that we may be made a holy temple acceptable to you through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Now collect for Saturdays. Almighty God, who after the creation of the world rested from all your works and sanctified a day of rest for all your creatures, grant that we, putting away all earthly anxieties, may be duly prepared for the service of your sanctuary, and that our rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for mission. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, for the honor of your name. Amen. Let us now bring our own needs and intentions before the Lord and ask for his indulgence. Lord, hear our prayer. The general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness we to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. 
for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth our praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us for the daily office for morning prayer here on this beautiful Saturday morning, July the 2nd. Please join us tomorrow in our beautiful historic sanctuary here in Uptown Wadesboro for our 11 o'clock uh, morning prayer as we continue the daily office. And tomorrow will be sort of a historic day for us. We will be uh, uh, offering a new rubric in which a member of the laity, me, is, uh, will be able to distribute uh, Holy Eucharist from the reserve sacrament. So we're looking forward to being the uh, 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 test parish and Christ Church in Albemarle for that new rubric. God bless you. Have a great day. Please join us at 11 o'clock tomorrow. Join us 10 o'clock Monday through Saturday as we continue the daily office. We're in our third year of uh, broadcasting the daily office beyond the borders here. So God bless you. Leave the world a better place this, after, this evening than you found it this morning, this afternoon too. And we'll see you tomorrow.